Welcome to Scott Prop and Roll. Today we're going to talk about prop firearms in the film and television industry. So if you like what you see, please hit the like and subscribe button and join me on a regular basis. And hit that little notification bell too. There are several different type of weapons we use in the film business. We use conventional blank for conventional blank firing. On a revolver, you don't have to do anything to it. You just use a real gun, put your blanks in and fire it. And it's the same for rifles and shotguns. But for semi-automatics and fully automatics, it's a different story. The guns have to be adapted before they'll fire properly. So the barrel's threaded and then a plug is screwed in so that it'll hold gas in the chamber and cycle the next round. You should not attempt to adapt real weapons to shoot blanks. You should hire an expert gunsmith who has adapted them for film. Every semi-automatic is different, different models, different designs. It's not just the barrel that has to get plugged. There are other mechanisms that have to be remachined, ground down, whatnot. I personally prefer blank firing weapons. You have muzzle flash, you have shell ejection, you have uh, recoil. Now the downside to firing blanks is that you have uh, fire coming out of the barrel, so you need 25 feet between the gun and the actor. The decibel level through the roof, the whole crew needs ear and eye protection. Money is also a factor. You're looking at minimum a dollar to a dollar fifty a round. If you're shooting a machine gun, that can add up quick. Now let's talk about green gas airsoft and CO2 BB guns. What we've been using more of lately are the nice higher dollar CO2 uh, BB guns. With green gas and CO2, we will adapt the magazine to where they'll shoot without ammunition and you're ready to go. This is a replica 1911. It's a CO2 BB gun and it'll shoot a good 80 shots on one tank. And they still have some recoil for the actors to play off of. If you have problems with one of your prop guns not firing properly, just check your manual in the troubleshooting section. This is a green gas M4. And you fill up the magazine just like you would a butane lighter. They call it green gas, but it's actually propane with silicone lubricant mixed in. These aren't cheap. They're all metal. They look nice. It's hard to tell them apart from the real one. So I got my fresh green gas magazine in. That's cool. Visual effects will put in shell ejection and muzzle flash. This is a green gas AK-47. It's got some good recoil as well. Then there's rubber and plastic replica weapons. And if this is going to be a hero gun that we see quite often, we'll mold a rubber version to match it. It's a rubber AK-47. It's got a pretty good paint job. The paint department will do their wood grain on it and you pop somebody in the head with it and it doesn't hurt them. Rubber shotguns like this would run you two or $300, probably more if you have to do a special mold, but you can buy these cheap plastic ones for 35 bucks and look. It's fine. This is a fake RPG. It's just a model kit, but it's actual size. And once you have the paint department, get a hold of it and add some good wood grain to it and some age, looks pretty awesome safety with prop weapons is the most important thing the next important thing is time you've got to have two of everything yeah, if you put this on a lead actor and it doesn't work you don't have time to to fix it or clear the barrel clear the jam uh, you got to have another one to throw right in their hands because ultimately something's going to get fired and hopefully it's not you and that does it for Prop Weapons. Thanks so much for joining me. Please hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. Well, that about does it for today. Thanks for joining me. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button, and uh, a lot of good more, uh, a lot of good more prop content.